Imagine a world where every part of your operating system, from installed programs and firewall settings to your web browser preferences and desktop wallpapers, was controlled with a single configuration file. You would never forget what changes you made to your computer, because everything would be written inside of it, and undoing anything would be no more difficult than removing several lines of text. You could even give this file to your friend, so they could copy your entire setup in mere moments, or just have it shared between multiple machines to sync up all the programs, their versions and settings. Sounds too good to be true? Well, you are in for a surprise, because NixOS, perhaps the most unique Linux distribution out there, does exactly that and so much more. Like the other popular SteamOS and Fedora Silver Blue, NixOS is an immutable Linux distribution, meaning the core of the operating system, all the programs, services and system settings cannot be modified directly. This way, the upgrading process does not need to take user modifications into account, and instead of incrementally changing your system, can straight up create a clean new snapshot of it every time you upgrade. The process is called Atomic Upgrades, where upgrades are either fully applied or not applied at all, making your operating system immune to power outages and failed upgrades. So if an upgrade fails for whatever reason, an immutable operating system will simply discard the failed snapshot, and instead of ending up with a broken system, you will remain on the previous working snapshot, letting you fix the issue and try again safely. A cool side effect of these atomic upgrades is the ability to roll back, so on NixOS, if one day any software update decides to ruin your workflow or even lock you out of the OS, you can easily roll back straight from your bootloader, aka your OS loading screen, where you will find all the previous snapshots you did not delete yet, meaning you never have to pray for updates to go well. But the primary difference between NixOS and other immutable distros is that whereas others receive new snapshots as updates from OS maintainers, on NixOS you create these snapshots yourself, because every snapshot is nothing more than changes you did to your configuration file. You are essentially given a list of more than 20,000 options and 120,000 packages to choose from, which you set and combine to define how the final operating system should look like. And every time you change the configuration file, a new clean snapshot emerges, seamlessly replacing the previous one. Any programs you removed from the configuration file won't be there, any services you added will be installed, and any settings you changed will be updated. On NixOS, these snapshots are called generations, and they are designed to automatically reuse any identical parts, meaning every subsequent generation will only take as much space as the changes require, so you are not actually losing gigabytes of disk space for every little change in the system. At any point in time, you can also choose to update the list of available options and packages, and from that point on, any new generations you build will have access to new options and packages. The list I'm talking about is called Nix Packages, one of the largest software repositories in the world, dwarfing most other Linux repositories both in terms of size and package freshness. The entire thing is hosted on GitHub, so every time you update yours, you just get a new version with fresh new options and packages, contributed by other Nix users. But of course, eventually, you will accumulate many old generations, so to prevent them from taking up disk space, you can simply tell Nixes to delete any snapshots older than one week, one month, or any other boundary you choose, making space for new generations. That is the general idea behind NixOS, an unbreakable, reproducible and declarative operating system, born anew every time you change the configuration file. And now, I'd like to thank all the amazing people that support the channel and keep it going, especially all of the great monthly supporters, of which we have one new member, so thanks Michael Buckley for signing up. Your support is invaluable. And as always, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you're feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.